Well, it's a cold one today. It's a different day. Um, had some stuff I had to get done, but the rear end, of course, you'll see um, in this video, you'll see it, it's done. And uh, in this video, I also, since we're doing five lug swap, we did a five lug swap on the back. Um, of course, just drum brakes for now. We're gonna update, update those and upgrade those to disc later on. Um, but what I wanna do now, in this part of the video, being a new day, we're gonna talk about the front. And I got some parts laid out here. We're gonna talk about what we have. Sorry about the lighting. There is light beating in this window here in my garage. Um, and you'll see, we're watching Star Wars. Don't copyright me. <laughs> but uh, let's talk about what we got here on the floor. So I will preface this and say, let me make sure you can see this right here. I will say all this stuff I can tell you 100% sure right now that it works because I did the other side, which we'll look at here in a little bit already to make sure. But um, let's go over what we got here. So right here, we see a 94, 95 front spindle. So let me go over that really quick while we're on it. So 94 and 95 are the only years that have the correct correct geometry all that stuff about replacing on your wheel here because what happens is is if you use a 96 to 04 it will the wheel will be poked out further and that's because of this little guy right here so if you're looking at this bend that is on the 94 95 i don't have a 96 to 04 example but if you can just imagine instead of it being bent up right there it just comes straight out so it's a little bit different um, so if you want the wheel to be tucked in correctly and not to be poking out any, any further than what it would normally be, you need to hunt you down a set of these 94, 95 spindles. So I, you can get lucky. I got lucky. I found them in a junkyard at a pull, pull apart. I pulled them off of a, a V6 car. Um, I think it was like a 90, it was a 94, 95 V6 car. I pulled them off just the spindles and the hubs and i think i paid like 40 bucks for the set honestly so if you're willing to put in the work you can find them pretty cheap um we'll hop over here next to the type of caliper that we're going to be using because then that'll explain the rest of this um obviously it's a cadillac caliper it's off of an eight i think they call it the ats caliper um this particular one is off of a 2013 model uh cadillac so um, I can, if anybody's interested, just, you can just comment below or whatever and ask me for part numbers. I can send you part numbers. I don't have them off memory, but, um, I can look them up where I bought them. I bought mine off of eBay. I think I got the set for, uh, around the $300 mark and that comes loaded with pads, pads and everything. So there's that. And then actually let's walk over here because I forgot to set these out. I don't have the box and everything set, but if you look, this is what you need to make those calipers work. It's a place called SNS, I believe SNS Engineering, um, and they're on Facebook. You can find them on Facebook. I think they're on the forums as well. If you're interested, I can send you the link to that. Just ask. It comes with everything you need to make those calipers work. Um, so that way you can run these calipers. And then, of course, pretty standard, just a rotor. Um, the, the size rotor, this is a 13 inch rotor, and the size rotor that you need um, for this caliper setup, so it'll just bolt right on. Um, you can look up a 2003-2004 Cobra. Um, you can look up, I, be, I believe actually, 96 to 98 Cobra, 9901 Cobra. Any Cobra, uh, I believe Mach 1 has the 13 inch front brakes. I believe the Bullet had the 13 inch front brakes. So you can look up those. I got these off eBay, um, eBay special, right? So we'll see how they work. I got these very cheap. They were like $115 for this set. So um, you can get that from eBay as well. Again, I can post the, the link to that if you're interested. And then that leads th to this right here. So you can connect your new calipers and everything to your complete stock brake, brake line system. You don't have to change any fittings. You don't have to change anything. You take your old hoses off and your old caliper of course and then this goes right in the factory mount and it plugs right up to the factory line and then this comes it comes with the bolts 
for the calipers. You don't even have to ask them about it. It comes with it. So you'll get the bolts, everything you need to put on to the factory hose. So um, that's pretty much the setup. Of course, like I said, I did the other side so I can verify everything fits. Uh, the only thing you'll have to do when you do put, when you do change these spindles out, you will have to have the car realigned because these spindles do have different geometry when it comes to your tie rod ends and where they connect. So you will have to have that redone or uh, your alignment redone and uh, that, you know, that's pretty much it. So everything else, of course, you'll have to bleed the brakes and, and stuff, but everything else is set. So I'm going to get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to set up and I will take you through doing this side. Um, I did the other side, so hopefully I can make it smooth and, and uh, be halfway knowledgeable to explain what's going on on this side right here. So let me uh, turn the camera off for just a second, move some stuff around, and then I'll set back up and we'll get to tearing this thing apart. this caliper these are the two fittings I was telling you about by SNS engineering um, they uh, you just hammer you ha hammer the old inserts out hammer the new ones in um, and then there's little sets uh, little like push what do you call these roll pins that you mount with before you do any of that you want to test fit it on here which I've already done but we're gonna put this on now so I got to mount the caliper the kit also comes with this little tiny spacer to space out the rotor where it needs to be on the in the caliper. So we got our rotor here. We'll pop it in there. Clean off whatever's on the top here. Why are they doing this? That 
goes on there. Take off this little sticker. Oh, excuse me. All right, here we go. Right. Make sure you take your little cap off where the brake line goes. <laughs> 